I'm gonna have to color correct this. You are aware of that, right? So, again, again, this is happening again, really. Really, first it was Freddy Wong with his sleep fighting video. Oh! oh. Are you sleeping? Oh. C'est assez. And now this, some, some studio taking credit for ideas that appear on this channel way before the trailer. Although, maybe he did, but I, I don't think. He, he seemed to be kind of half and half sane. And yes, Stephanie, at least there weren't clowns included in this end of the world scenario, but we are in 2013. That's three years from current year. Current year is the year of the clown. Yes, but clowns running around scaring people in this situation would be so funny. At least for me. Yes, I would totally see clowns running around Arcadia Bay getting hit in the head with giant metal plates flying around and, and them getting pulled by the tornado flying like, woo! Flying clowns. Flying killer clowns. Flying scary killer clowns. That's kind of dangerous. Don't you think? Wait a minute. Stop. Stop. Stop the video. Stop the video. <laughs> Something happened. It's weird. I guess it's the timing of it all that's kind of weird, but it, it's it's weird. So, um... Mm. There was this tweet that I responded on, leaving a uh, kind of uh, like a review of the, how disappointed I was in the trailer for Clownado. <laughs> well, disappointed, not really, because <laughs> like the beginning of this video, I'm serious. I designed this shirt this graphic right here because of a uh, joke from my live stream the joke obviously was because 2016 when I live stream life is strange was very big on creepy killer clowns and since I was in the middle of the storm when my girlfriend mentioned that it would be funny if there were clowns in this storm. I didn't know that three years in the future they would actually have a killer clowns tornado thing. A thing which, from memory, we'll have to uh, check out and see and scan the, uh, the trailer again, but I don't remember having flying clowns riding the tornadoes. But, and that's the weirdest thing, but my tweet I got a response from one of the clowns, I think, one of the actors who may or may not be playing clown in clown NATO. So... Okay. What? I, I think we might need to 
check out the trailer again, just to just to be sure, because uh, according to the tweet, apparently he does ride the tornado. Just saying. Although that being said, I'm also just saying the trailer does make it look like it's an asylum mockbuster of an asylum film. And there's a part when I first watched the trailer that I mentioned that it almost felt like just looking at the trailer because we don't from memory it didn't look like any clowns were riding the tornadoes. It actually does kind of look like they decided to be trendy with their tornadoes because of Sharknado and just make the thing oh yeah let's cash grab and make it a kind of sharknado but with clowns thing and just we're gonna we're gonna add tornadoes that they appear in even though we could replace that effect with anything like fog but if I am to take the tweet seriously and that it's actually genuine, then we, we actually do have clowns riding the tornadoes. But if it's not in the trailer, am I to assume that it looks very anticlimactically disappointing? I'm saying that because from past experience, the uh, Sharkzilla gag from Sharknado 8, I think? No, not 8. Sorry. That hasn't happened yet. Sharknado 5, I think? The one with Sharkzilla? We didn't see Sharkzilla. They're bigger. Stronger. Stranger. That's a huge shark. That's no shark. That's a shark villa. In my head, I actually thought that maybe it's a giant shark Zilla type Godzilla monster. But no, we didn't see that. And it wasn't that. And I was terribly disappointed. It was kind of cheap, actually. Buy my shirts? It's for a good cause.